Welcome back to the 2012 X-Laser product reveal video series from our studio. We have gotten a ton of requests for something like this new model. Before I get into the features of how exactly it works, I want to give you a little bit of a background of what made this laser come to be. There are lots of laser production companies out there who do fantastic work. They use great high-end equipment, they, do, they are tremendously skilled, they have their own art departments, and they do a lot of really great work around the world. There are many, many more production companies out there in the world who do great corporate work, who do great charitable work. And for example, recently we got a call from a company that was uh, doing a lighting design for a corporate meeting, it was a car company, and they wanted to get a laser that would take a CAD file from the car manufacturer and trace the outline of the car onto a shadow box. Then the front of the shadow box would fall down and reveal a car. Well, that's a great idea and it's a great concept, but there aren't many products that are able to do that in an affordable kind of way. The really good imaging lasers out there that the big laser companies use can cost eighty, a hundred thousand dollars. What we wanted to do is take a look around the market and see all the stuff out there that's 3D now, right? IMAX theaters, in the big box stores, all the televisions are going to 3D. We want to take all of that and put it into a product that your average production company can afford and get a good ROI from. And this is our new series, the 3D series. And this is the first model of that series, uh, which is called the Dimension. Basically, we took an existing design, went to a whole bunch of safety engineers and laser design engineers, took a lot of good ideas, put it all together, enhanced it, made it ready for the US and North American markets. And we are really excited to be launching this now first on YouTube. No one's ever actually seen this yet. So we're gonna go ahead and get this set up, show you some beam effects from it, and show you what it does. Okay, so we've got the dimension up and running. Got it hooked up uh, to our laptop uh, running Penguin Quick Show here. We're gonna show you some beam effects while I talk about the design features of this, because otherwise there wouldn't be time to do this whole video, because this thing has so much in it. So we're just gonna run a quick little show that I threw together in about two seconds here. Hot beams, all sorts of cool stuff. Now, first of all, it's worth mentioning that we're using this inside and we have this turned down to about 30% of its actual native power. We had to, because otherwise it's just not a good idea and just flares in the camera and it looks terrible. Uh, you can also see the projection of what it's doing off behind me uh, while I'm sort of telling you about all the rest of this. So basically, the dimension is designed with an over-under design, where the optical cavity, which is this part up here, is actually totally separate from where all the power supplies and the drivers and everything are down below. There are a bunch of different ways of doing this sealed housing kind of thing. This is the best way we've found because it doesn't rely on a pathway of air. This is sealed in. There is no air exchange in this compartment whatsoever. That means no haze gets in this compartment. That means no dust gets in that compartment. That means that your maintenance is way, way lower. The compartment is attached to these big, beefy heat sinks here, and there are a bunch of fans at, at the backside of this. In fact, you can probably see my hands through the backside of this guy. Basically, what the heat uh, sinks do is exactly what heat sinks do. They draw the heat out of the optical plate and then force a whole lot of air across the heat sinks in order to cool the laser. It works really well, it's really efficient, and it's a really good way of cooling a laser in a hot climate. Another thing that's really important about this, by design, is we wanted to make this easily field serviceable. There are lots of lasers out there that are really a pain in the butt to service in the field. Your laser goes out of alignment. As long as you have a laser technician on staff, you can do this super, super easily. And basically all it is, is there's a screw here, and there's a screw here. You take out these two screws, and this front panel simply will flip down. And then you have access to all of your optics up in here, uh, which are directing the beams to the scanners. So if you end up dropping it or something, it comes out of alignment, you stick a little Allen wrench in there, boom, you're good to go. The second feature set that I'd like to tell you about is, of course, one of the most important things in laser, which are the diodes, the optics, and the scanners, right? So the diodes that we have in here is a full three watts of RGB and high visibility wavelengths. We're not using a 650 red, we're using a 640 red. So you get a lot more pop out of your red. You also have the option for analog or TTL, and because of the way we've arranged everything, you have an almost total power white balance. You get just about three watts of really nice D65 white. On top of that, we've added a lot of really good glass to this to make sure that you get the most bang for your buck. The dichros are very, very high quality. There's very little loss coming off of them. And all of the diodes themselves are fully corrected so that you get a fairly consistent divergence as you go forward through space. And you're gonna get a nice white dot, nice tight white dot on target 
downrange, even at a very long distance. And then of course, the scanners. Now, a lot of people talk about scanner speeds and everything kind of gets confused and there's a lot of fudging of numbers and half angles and that sort of stuff. The scanners that are in this guy will do 45K, the old test pattern, 45K at eight degrees. If you're doing a little bit simpler content, you can easily zoom that out to 20, 30 degrees. Your total beam angle is gonna be 50 degrees. And anything smaller than that, you're gonna have really, really decent speeds. Just for the sake of comparison, uh, Penguin Quick Show, for example, only goes up to 30K. So this will actually max out the, ca the capabilities of Penguin Quick Show. You have a lot of options and a lot of different settings, and you're gonna get a lot of power going down range, which is, after all, the mark of an imaging laser. The last set of features I wanna tell you about are all about control and making your life easier on the road. I don't think that there are many ways to control a laser that we haven't built into this product. First of all, you have DMX. Very simple, everybody knows about it, everybody has it. DMX control, you wanna run it that way, knock yourself out. There's some great programming in here, you'll be able to do an awful lot with it. You wanna do custom content, of course you need to use an ILDA software package, and this of course has an ILDA port, you can put in all of that content and you're good to go. On top of that, we also have sound active and auto modes, which are not that common for most of these lasers, but are sometimes really useful out in the field. So of course they're built into this. On top of that, it also has an SD card. You can load up ILDA files onto an SD card, stick them in the back, fire them off by DMX. There's an awful lot you can do with this if you're in a situation where you simply can't have a computer running a software package, or you're just too far away, or whatever. Lots of different flexibilities that we've built into this. A very small form factor, something that takes less power than your TV. And just to give you a sense of scale, this is a standard PAR 56. That shows you just how small this guy really is. Standard PAR 56, this is the dimension by X Laser. Check it out at your favorite dealer or try and set up a demo with one of our manufacturer's reps. It's a great piece, we think you'll really enjoy it. This is Dan from the back of the X Laser Studio signing off. Stay tuned for more videos in our 2012 video series. One more thing. We didn't think that the dimension video would be complete unless we showed you the dimension working outside. Now, before we do anything, what I should tell you, we've taken every precaution, all the safety people have been notified, everything's on the up and up. But we wanted to show you what this kind of laser looks like in its natural environment. There's no fog, no haze, no nothing, and the dimension's about 200 feet that way. Check it out. of a graphics laser is being able to hold a nice tight white beam at a long distance. This beam, still projecting about, about 200 feet, maybe a hair more, is only about, let's say about three inches big. Really nice tight beams get great graphics over a long distance. And you're about to see it up against this big brick wall right now.